Alrighty guys, so in today's lecture, we're going to continue with our study on molarity and just calculating for concentrations. Um, we're going to be going over three different types of problems than the ones that we did last time. Last time was more of an introduction, so the problems were very straightforward. Um, but for today's assignment, you'll have to be a little bit more careful in how you read um, the problem because it'll dictate how, which equation to use and what variable you're going to be looking for. So let's go through the problems. So first problem. Um, let's just go through it. Um, it says that you're trying to make 10 liters of a 0.45 molarity NO2 solution. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a quick picture just so we can visualize what's going on. So, okay, so we have a, a container, I guess. And we want to make 10 liters of a solution. What that means is um, inside of our container, the entire volume of this solution is going to be 10 liters. Okay, and then it tells us that it's going to be a 0.45 molarity solution. So that means that the concentration is going to be 0.45 molarity. So we are probably going to have, um, it looks like NO2. So we're going to have some NO2 molecules in there. So we're going to have NO2, um, whatever this solution is, and it's like dissolved in there. Okay, and the concentration, the amount we have in that space is going to be 0.45 molarity. Now the question is asking us how many grams of NO2 do we need? Now, since we're we have capital M as our unit, we're probably going to be using this formula right here, the molarity formula. So we're going to be using capital M equals moles over liters. Now, which, what I want you guys to notice about this problem is that we're not calculating for concentration, right? In the previous um, lecture, we were looking for concentration, so capital M. But here, we're not going to be looking for that because we actually already have molarity, right? It's 0.45. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in my numbers just so that you guys, just so we can get started on this problem. So our concentration is 0.45 molarity equals, and then I'm going to draw my fraction. Now, we're going to be looking for one of these probably. Um, which one do we have? So it looks like we have liters, right? The bottom, we have 10 liters. So we have 10 liters. And so what we're going to be looking for are moles. Now, basically what this problem is asking us to find is just how much NO2 is inside of here. You see we got these molecules in here. Obviously, there's more than five uh, NO2 molecules. I just can't draw any more than that. But we're basically looking for how many of these molecules are going to be inside of this solution. Now, this problem is asking us to find grams. Okay, but the equation that we have we can only find moles. What that means is we're going to be using this equation to find moles of NO2 inside of the solution, and then we're going to have to turn it into grams. So let's just start off by uh, solving out this equation. So we have 0.45 equals moles over 10 liters. Now, um, there are multiple ways that you guys can do this, but I think the easiest way to do this is just multiply by 10 liters on both sides, because if I multiply by 10 liters, um, these, this side will cancel out, and then on this side we'll have times 10 liters, and that's going to give us moles equals, and then you guys can punch this in the calculator to double check my answer, but it should give you 4.5. Okay, so that means that um, inside of this solution, this 0.45 molarity solution, that's 10 liters, we're going to have 4.5 moles of NO2. Two. Okay, and that's just basically what our calculations tell us. Okay, but we don't want moles, right? We want to find grams. So that means we're going to have to turn this moles into grams. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to dimensional analysis. So we're going to set up a fraction. I want to get rid of moles of NO2. So I'm going to put moles of NO2 on the bottom. And I'm looking for grams of NO2. So I'm going to put grams of NO2 on the top. Okay, and all we need to do is put in the numbers into this fraction. So we have grams and moles on the same fraction, which means that we're going to be using molar mass. So we have to use molar mass. Okay, we're going to be using the molar mass of NO2. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on my periodic table, and we can see that N is 14 grams per mole. It's the number on the bottom, and we know that oxygen is 16 grams per mole, but it's NO2, so there's going to be two of them. And so we're going to have to multiply this by two. Okay, so we're going to have our 14 from our nitrogen. 
So let's just punch it into the calculator just so we can keep an eye on things. So 14 plus, and then we have 2 oxygen, so plus 16 twice. And that's going to give us a total of 46. So that means NO2 has a molar mass of 46 grams per mole. And that's how we're going to put it into this fraction. So the number next to grams is 46, so I'm going to put a 46 on the top. Um, the number on the bottom moles is just one because it's per mole and then the moles of NO2 will cancel out And so all we need to do is top multiplied by the bottom or sorry top multiply the top and divide it by the bottom So 4.5 Times the number on the top 46 we can skip the one because it'll keep the number the same and so that means our final answer is going to be 207 and the important thing is the units. It's going to be grams of NO2. So basically, this calculation tells us that, hey, if we have this solution, that's 10 liters, 0.45 molarity, there's going to be 207 grams of NO2 inside of this solution. Okay. So that's what we we're looking for in this problem. We we're looking for how much NO2 was in there, and we calculated that it's going to be 207. Okay, so that's a different type of problem than we did last time. Let's look at another different type of problem. Okay, so um, we're still going to be using the same formulas, the molarity and the molality. So if you guys feel pretty comfortable, you guys can actually pause the video and try it on your own. Um, but if not, it's okay. I'm just going to go through each problem step by step. Okay. So um, in this problem, it's asking us, what is the volume of solvent? Solvent. Um, needed to dissolve 100 grams of CaCO3 to make a 0.5 molarity solution. Okay, so let's draw a picture to kind of visualize what's going on. So we got this container and we got a solution in there. Okay, it, the problem tells us that it's 0.5 molarity. So that means the concentration of this solution is going to be 0.5 molarity. It tells us that inside of this solution, it looks like we got some, uh, let's just draw some dots. Okay, we have uh, chemicals in there, and the chemical that we got in there is CaCO3, and we have 100 grams of it. So there's 100 grams of CaCO3 dissolved in there. And it's asking us, what is the volume of solvent? So we know that volume, just based on what we learned earlier in the year, is going to be in liters, and solvent is the thing that does the dissolving. So that means in so we're basically looking for the size, the volume, how much, how many liters is this solution? Basically, how much space does it take up? And so since we have capital M, right? We have molarity. We're going to be using the molarity formula. So we're going to be using this formula right here. Capital M equals moles over liters. And all we need to do is plug things into this formula, and then that'll get us our answer. So Molarity is pretty easy because we have 0.5, right? We can just plug that in. 0.5 molarity. Okay, equals. We're looking for volume, which means that we are we know that we're going to be looking for liters. So this is what we're looking for. So I'm just going to draw that, write the L here, just so we can kind of take that out. That means we need to find moles. The problem is we have 100 grams of CaCO3, but that's not moles, right? So what we're going to do is what we did last time. We're going to use dimensional analysis to turn 100 grams of CaCO3 into moles. So I have grams, so I'm going to put grams on the bottom, so grams of CaCO3 on the bottom. I'm looking for moles, so I can put it on the top of the fraction, so I'm going to turn it into moles of CaCO3. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Since we have grams and moles on the same fraction, that means that our number here is going to come from molar mass. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn, or sorry, we've got to get the numbers uh, for this fraction by getting the molar mass of CaCO3. So let's do that. So if we go to our periodic table, we are going to notice that Ca, the number on the bottom, is going to be 40. So it's going to be 40 grams per mole. If we look at C, carbon, carbon is 12 grams per mole, and oxygen is 16 grams per mole. Now, there's going to be three of them, so we're going to have to multiply that by three, okay? But in, 
we can combine all these numbers to find the molar mass of CaCO3 Ca -CO3 combined. So what we're going to do is go on our calculator, and then we're going to do 40 plus 12, and then we're going to add 16 three times, which is the same thing as adding 48. So that means our molar mass for CaCO3 is going to be 100 grams per mole. Okay, and so we're going to put that in for the molar mass. So the number next to gram is going to be 100. The number next to moles is 1. And so if we do that, we can cancel out grams of CaCO3, grams of CaCO3. And if you also notice, um, we have 100 on the top and 100 on the bottom, so we can actually cancel out the hundreds. That means our final answer is just going to be 1 mole of CaCO3. And so that means we can put this on the top of our fraction, just 1 mole. All right, so here, what we can do is we can multiply both sides of the equation by the letter L for liters. So we're going to multiply by L, multiply by L. The L's will cancel out on this side. So we'll have liters times 0 0.5 molarity. Okay, but we're looking for L, so we have one mole. We're looking for L, so we're going to have to do another part. We can do divide by 0 0.5 molarity. That way these two can cancel out, and then we can divide 1 by 0.5 molarity. And that will give us a final answer of 1 divided by 0.5, which should give us 2 liters. So the answer for, to this problem is going to be 2 liters. And let's just double check that real quick. So 1 divided by 0.5, that will give us 2. Okay, so that means that based on our calculations, the size of this container, not the container, the solution inside the... Um, container is going to be 2 liters. That means this whole thing takes up a space of 2 liters, and that's what we were calculating for in this problem. Okay, this part right here where we did the uh, equations, you can do it a lot of different ways. You guys can cross multiply. You can do it the way I did it. Uh, the important thing is that you isolate the variable that you're looking for. We're looking for L, so we're just doing basic algebra. And if you guys need help with that part, uh, just make sure you guys let me know. I'm more than happy to help you guys out.